what we're doing in the field is uh, we're, we're trying to uh, calibrate an instrument that's going to be flying above us. It's a hyperspectral instrument. It means it takes spectral data over probably uh, a couple, uh, I think it's 125 spectral channels. It's called the HIMAP instrument, and it's being flown over all the different uh, wildfires that burned by San Diego, the uh, Harris Fire, the Witch, the Santiago, and also the Alamo fires. So we're at the Witch Fire. This is actually our calibration site at the Witch Fire, and this is a field spectrometer that we're using to collect, let's say, ground truth uh, for our calibration of that hyperspectral instrument. And the reason why we're doing this is we're trying to uh, calibrate that hyperspectral data because that, that instrument's going to fly around uh, the whole burn area and it's going to collect spectral data at many different wavelengths, sort of uh, successive pictures at different wavelengths over the whole uh, area. So we can look at the ash. Uh, the ash may not be distributed uniformly throughout the whole area. Some places there's more ash than others and what we're looking at for the biologists is how that ash is going to affect the aquatic life. They want to know when the ash gets mixed in with the soil, how long the soil is going to take to recover so that it can support vegetation growth again. This is the spectrometer. This is the heart of the instrument. This has actually three separate spectrometers inside of it. This is a communications cable that actually communicates with the, uh, with the computer. This is where all the spectral data gets stored. And this is the optic fiber right here. And this actually has I think about 53 strands, 57 strands of, uh, of optic fiber that go back into the spectrometer and divide up uh, the signal, the light signal that comes through the opening right here to the three different spectrometers in the back. With the uh, optic fiber, we're going to walk and take measurements at the same time and record probably about 150 different spectral measurements so that we can spectrally characterize the field. Uh, for the overflight. We want to know what that portion of land looks like so that we can uh, use that to correct the data that is going to be collected by the HIMAP instrument. In a burn situation like this, this emergency response situation, there are a lot of different components, different um, disciplines within the USGS that are coming into play. Biologic, water resources, mapping, mapping and also geologic division. So what we're doing here is, is we're feeding information into that whole pool of researchers so that we can, we can use all our different talents to come up with a better picture of what's going on. The biologists will tell us how it affects the wildlife. The geologists will help uh, identify the ash component and also um, uh, will help with the calibration of the uh, hyperspectral data. So we're each lending our own expertise to helping uh, do an emergency response so that uh, we can figure out how this area is going to recover or even make suggestions on how to make it recover sooner.